All right, so now that we've got our page buttons working, we tested them out on our interactivity preview panel here. Like I said, I'll just tuck that off to the side for now. I want these to work as buttons. So if I clicked on her, it would jump all the way down to her page. Maybe I don't want to read about these guys. I want to jump through. Instead of forcing people to go through him and then him and then him and then him and finally get to her, I just want to jump right down to her page. Okay, the problem with the buttons, if I go to Window, Interactive, Buttons and Forms, when I click the pop-up, you have sample buttons. They're basic. They're like little dots, little gel buttons little arrows. I don't want any of those. I want a graphic to become a button. So what I'm going to do is take my black arrow, click, and then this is all blank. This is not a button, but I have this right here, convert to button. So I'm going to click that and there's my normal button view. Cool. Okay. What do I want this thing to do? I don't want it to work on release. Okay, that's not going to work. I want it to work on click. Now, what do I want it to do? Click and I want it to go to a page. Well, what page? Well, he's on page two. This is page one, so I want it to go to page two. And what I also want to do is give a rollover effect, okay? I want people to know that they can click on it. I want them to know it's an interactive element. So when they normally see the button, it's going to have a black outline. When they roll over, you just click on the word rollover. Now I change the stroke to yellow. That's it. So let's test that out. I'm going to come back to normal, click once outside, and let's see if that button works. I'll bring the interactivity panel back up. I always click the bottom right corner first, then the bottom left corner, load all the information here. So again, I'll probably have to wait a few seconds here. Yep. Okay. Let it load all the information from all the pages. And now let's see if this rollover works. Okay, I know the rollover border works. And when I click, it doesn't jump. Okay, well, let's see what's going on here. Jump. Okay, load up all my document. Playback. Let's try this one more time. and click nothing okay so i want to see what's going on here let's get this out of the way and let's click on this button again on click go to page okay well <laughs> duh it was still stuck on page one type page two and return i forgot to hit return that was stupid otherwise it was going to its exact same page now let's try this again Load up the document, play back all the information, always click the bottom right, then the bottom left, let all the information load. And now when I roll over this button, the rollover works and it jumps to the page. Okay, that was really important. I forgot to hit return, duh. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. And that's why I have nine buttons. We're going to get a lot of practice with this. So I'm going to click on the next one. I'm going to convert that to a button. The rollover effect, the stroke will turn yellow. On release, I don't want anything to happen. I want this button to work when somebody clicks. And the action that's going to happen when they click on it it's going to go to a specific page. Okay. This is page one. He's page two. So this guy would be page three. 
type the number three and hit return. <laughs> okay, so now let's keep going. I'll click the next one, convert it to a button. The rollover effect, since I'm already on the stroke, will be yellow. The event will be when somebody clicks. The action will go to a specific page and his page will be page four and hit return. All right, so now before I get too far ahead of myself, let's check this. Like I said before, when I'm done working on a button, go back to normal, click, go back to normal. Cause that's what you're gonna be looking at anyway. So let's make sure the whole top row works. I'm gonna load the entire document by clicking on the lower right playback all the pages, load up all the information, and let it load for a second. It'll take me back to page one. There we go. And now let's just enlarge this so we can really get a good preview. Rollovers work. He goes to his page. Let's come back. He goes to his page. Let's go back. And he goes to his page. So now that I know that process is working, I'm gonna finish off my buttons. Click, and you'll notice it's the same process over and over and over again. Click, convert to a button, click the rollover, make a yellow stroke. The event is on click, the action We'll go to a page, and he is page five. Hit return. Now I'll do the next. And again, I come back to normal mode when I'm done. Click, convert to a button, add a rollover with a yellow stroke. On click, the action will go to a specific page. She is on page six and return, and I come back to normal. And you could click back to normal at any time. So I'll just show you right here. Click, convert to button, add a rollover by clicking, put a yellow stroke, and now I can come back to normal and then do the rest. On the event, that button's gonna work when somebody clicks. The action that that button is gonna do is it's gonna jump or go to a specific page and he will be page seven. Hit return, okay. Click on snake eyes, convert that to a button, add a rollover by clicking. We'll make the rollover yellow. Come back to normal mode. The event for that button is when somebody clicks. The action will go to his specific page and he is on page eight. Hit return. Go to stalker here, convert that to a button, add a rollover by clicking, add a yellow stroke, come back to normal mode. The event for every button is gonna be when somebody clicks the action for those buttons will jump to a specific page and he is going to be page nine and return. And then the last guy right here, Wild Bill. Convert that to a button, add a rollover which is yellow, come back to normal mode. That button will also work when somebody clicks the action when they click will go to his specific page and that page is going to be page 10 and I'll hit return. Okay, at this point you wanna save your progress. I'm just not saving it because this is a demo file, but let's check this out. I'm gonna close the buttons and forms so I can bring my e-publication interactivity preview panel back here. I'm gonna click the lower right because I wanna look at all my pages. Click the lower left and let's load up the entire document information into our preview panel. Let it load here for a second. 
And if I did everything right, all these buttons should work. So I've got all my rollovers working. I'll just pick a random one like shipwreck. Cool, goes to shipwreck. The only problem is now I gotta toggle back to the beginning. Snake eyes goes to snake eyes. Let's toggle back to the beginning. Stalker goes to stalker, toggle back. Just a quick test, make sure all my buttons are actually working. Scarlet works, Gung Ho works. Okay, so they're all working. My entire cover works. My before and after page buttons, they work. So now what I wanna do is drop in my little file cards, okay? So let's just push this off to the side and we'll drop in file cards next.